we are making great strides in uh, the diagnosis, the staging, and the treatment of lung cancer in the UK. Um, as you may know, from a number of years, we've been behind the curve compared with many other European um, countries and uh, other countries further afield. Um, Dividing lung cancer into the various stages, stage one and two and stage three. Um, I think in stage one, early detection of lung cancer, there are ongoing studies looking at uh, CT screening. Um, yesterday, the Nelson study uh, from the Netherlands and Belgium was published in the New England Journal of Medicine, a, a very uh, exciting and long-awaited uh, publication, um, which has shown a clear survival advantage for CT screening. Um, this uh, supports the research previously done in the States uh, and around the National Lung Screening Trial and also in the UK, in the UKLS study. So we very much hope that we'll be able to develop uh, and start to implement uh, screening programs for early stage lung cancer. Um, the uh, NHS England are already beginning to introduce and run lung health checks in um, 10 different sites around the country as part of a uh, program that's just kicking off at the moment. Um, and I very much hope that in you know, a relatively small number of years to come, we will have a national screening program for lung cancer uh, in England and Wales, and, and hopefully Scotland will do the same in due course. Uh, so I think that's very, very exciting um, and a, a space we you know, will watch and we must you know, really support the development of lung cancer screening. Moving on to stage three lung cancer, um, this is a very tricky area. This is patients with uh, established lung cancer with a locally advanced disease in the center of their chest in the mediastinum. Um, and the various approaches include sometimes a surgery combined with chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Sometimes patients are best having chemotherapy chemo radiotherapy without surgery and there are so there are a number of different approaches and it is quite a contentious area um, and there's a lot of focus on this at the moment and in fact recent data coming out from the National Lung Cancer Audit uh, shows that actually we're not doing very well with stage 3 lung cancer uh, our treatment rates are lower than in many other countries um, and we're not doing things in a consistent way uh, so I think going forward, um, you know, there's got to be a lot more focus in this area. And there have been a number of presentations at this uh, BTOG meeting highlighting this. Uh, there are new National Lung Cancer Audit reports uh, which will come out shortly, uh, which will, will further highlight this. And I think the lung cancer community as a whole has really got to focus in on stage three pa patients and say, you know, what treatments can we offer them? We, the data is showing that there are too few, uh, there are too few patients being treated uh, and there are too many who don't appear to be receiving any anti-cancer treatment. Is this because they you know, don't want to be treated or they have very poor performance status uh, and aren't suitable for treatment or in fact they're you know, just not seeing the right people and accessing treatment?